All right, rise and shine. Good morning. We made it to Smyrna, Tennessee. It's like there's a pretty good long line for unloading here. Oh, so. Uh, we don't have a load yet. Of course, it's only 8 11. And um, this will be the week that we're looking for loads going west now. We're trying to get to Utah. So I would like to bounce because my brother is on Long Island right now and he, can tr he can't drop till uh, Tuesday. So if I leave from here and go straight, straight out to Salt Lake, I'll probably be like three or four days ahead of them, I would imagine. So, we're kind of looking to maybe go back east-ish a little get a little bit again. Maybe like take maybe like uh, Akron, Ohio, kind of like maybe a border of the on the border of like Ohio, Pennsylvania load. But I don't know. I got Mason on the board looking. Uh, we had a decent weekend in uh, Lebanon. Um, we ended up eating at a place called took a picture of it uh, demos they do uh, steak and spaghetti it's demos steak steak and spaghetti house Lita ordered the spaghetti I ordered the steak obviously it was okay I think my steak was um, probably $28 and I wouldn't say it was a $28 steak. It was their best cut steak that was on the menu. It was a, uh, I forget what they called it. What kind of steak was that? I bet Lita will remember. I don't know, it, it was okay. I think the bill came out to $66 without tip. I ended up getting a Bloody, uh, Bloody Mary. Uh, it was half off Bloody Mary's on Sunday. Lita got some kind of fruity little girly drink. Super sugary. Ooh, it was hard to drink. Anyways, we're here now waiting to get unloaded. One, two, three, four. Looks like we're truck maybe number five, and I think there's one in there unloading now. So Lita went up to see if we could go ahead and untarp it here so we could get unloaded faster when we're in there. She also needs to find out if I have to wear pants. Cause I'm in shorts right now. Ugh. See you guys in a bit. Just a lawnmower. Oh, they see the deer. Oh shit. All oh, the deer are stuck in that fence. Oh, no. <gasps> Look at that baby running. Woo! Wow, good eyes, Mackie. Good eyes, but you walked right by a bunny the other day and didn't even realize it. Can you not get on? Why is she getting on the dash? Because she, if she gets closer, then she can get him. <laughs> they don't call her butthole lips for nothing. <laughs> can you get down? You're a fucking maniac.
All right, so we've been sitting, waiting to unload now for over two hours, and we've been in the building for two hours. It's like they went on break. But, so there's three, You can they can fit three trucks in here, and basically I think what they want you to do is you pull in, once you get inside the building, you can start on tap, on, on tarping, on strapping, on chaining your coils or whatever. Then you move up as the trucks get unloaded. But like shortly after we pull into the building, the door closes behind you and we're out there taking the tarp off and Mackie is just laying on the horn. And I could see the people like looking back and pointing at the truck. And uh, maybe that's why we're sitting. Maybe that's why we're sitting here. No. They think we were in a hurry. So they're like, we're gonna make them wait. I mean, I, I told the crane guys, like, look, that wasn't me being a butthole. That was my dog blowing on the horn. I don't know if you believe me or not. Still don't have a load, though. Of course. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong area. Man, they have these searches messed up. We're in a metal building. I, I didn't have service until we moved down here to the door. So now I can start looking for a load. I don't know, I'll let you guys know. All right, it is 10.30. Finally unloaded. You stay up there, Mackie. We just gotta put up our dunnage here. And we're good to go. Mason's calling on an Indianapolis load. Ugh. So we'll see what happens. All right. So we got that load Mason called in about. Picks up in Le Lebergne. Is that what the Stone GPS Parkway. called it? Lebergne? Yeah. yeah. Going to uh, Indianapolis. So we are going to Indianapolis, Indiana. In hopes. Um, and then there's one picking up in Ohio going to uh, Arkansas. Uh, I'm going to probably try to get that one. Because it looked like there was a decent amount of uh, stuff going from there. Towards the Salt Lake area. Uh, Mason said Texas for sure. You can get to... Uh, can get to the west. My brother's looking for loads out of uh, the Long Island area. I, I, I'll be really surprised if, if they find them something off of Long Island. I mean, it usually pays decent if you can find something off of Long Island. But, uh, they're few and far between. What are these cars doing? It's green light. This guy's been sitting here for 15 minutes. Ugh. So I think it's some type of metal racking. 42,000 pounds, no tarp. I think I think Mason said it's racking like they put in stores. Yeah, it says racking. Um, I might be biting, I, I, I don't know. So these guys don't pass. They're a new brokerage. Uh, RTS won't factor them because they are a new brokerage. brokerage. These people are willing to cash at me or Venmo me. Turn left at the yeah. um, when we get there, but they're begging us. This guy's gonna turn left on red. Yeah, what are you doing, my guy? He just ran that red light. Whoops. No, not whoops. He, he, he knew it was a red light. So, what was I talking about? Oh, so he's begging us to uh, run him through RTS so that, so I guess RTS requires brokers to be ran through uh, three times with like a decent paying day. Like they don't want you to take forever to pay and then that establishes you credit with RTS and then RTS will start using you. So, I don't know. 
But the thing is, if I take Cash App or Venmo, then I can't run them through RTS. So it's like, do I take the chance for them? Because I know what it's like to be new. I mean, we were new once. Look at all these people running this red light. So like, we're looking for oh. MHR Cinemax. MHR Cinemax? In one mile, turn right on J.P. Hennessy Drive. J.P. Hennessy. Yeah, they must be building RVs there, huh? National yeah. Indoor RV Center. Maybe they put stuff in the RVs. Oh, maybe. Maybe they have a specialty. They do the lighting or something. Yeah. I don't know. All right. So I guess we'll see you guys in a minute. There's the Bridgestone place. Try and get ourselves where we're supposed to be. Okay. All right, bye. So he said he's going to be here in 15 minutes. Um, we have to go to the end of this building, not the back of the building. Is this not the end? No, he said to the, like, I'm, he's talking about the side. He's talking about that side. The left hand side? this side right here the side that we just went through and then to have enough to get on both sides so we need to go back where we just came yeah. from and park there yep uh, I'll back up and get out of the way okay out one way yeah man We are loaded up. Lita is tightening up the last few straps. This is exactly what they tried to put on my non-CDO hot shot that time. And uh, come to find out, they gave me the paperwork and it said something like 25,000 pounds or something. And uh, I asked them about it. I said, my load's supposed to pay? I don't know. Load I was supposed to take was like 8,000 pounds. And they're like, oh, well we have two loads. We just figured we'd put this one on you. That's when I had to explain to them how to tell a non-CDL versus CDL by looking at how many tires are on their trailer. So, and then they had to unload me. I'm surprised it didn't uh, do some, it might've done some damage to the hot shot trailer. I don't know, who knows? So this is what we're going with though. They got a second truck over there picking up the same thing and going to the same spot. How's it coming, baby? This front one needs tightened. This one here. Just slow down. 
it's not worth your life to get there sooner. Man, they really don't. It's sad to say, but it needs to happen, man. It needs to happen. People need to see this shit. So they'll slow down. But they won't. They never do. Man, he, he fucked that truck up. That truck is jacked. He went off back into the trees. It's a semi-truck. 